Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Also, if convenient for you guys to watch this over on Twitch, I am streaming to Twitch as we speak right now. Also, if you guys would like to help support this channel and get some cool rewards in return, please go check out my Patreon page. It's kind of long to read it through now, but you can go do that on your own free time. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks to Ryan Fitzy for your support on Patreon. I really appreciate it, man. Also, I am on social media. I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. If you want to go follow me on either one of those, I'd really appreciate it. And all that being said, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Mikhail Aloshin's 2014 Fontana crash in the IndyCar series. As you saw by the little video on the wait screen. Sorry, just making sure everything is all set up here. Alright, I think we're good. So there's not really any other replays I could find aside from that one you saw there. So there's no need to watch any extended replays. Here you can see his number uh, 7 SMP racing paint scheme. His Honda. I wish I knew more about IndyCar to go on in further detail but <laughs> that's all I really know so as you can see we're gonna be using Auto Club Night 2014 so we are right on the year I have the link down in the description the 2014 oval car set which comes with the DW12 mod which I also have the link for down below for anyone interested in downloading the stuff thanks for everyone joining in right now JJ4824, YouTubers Never Stop, Doge Meme, Tricky Fox, Rowdy Rocks Plays. Thanks for joining in, guys. All right, now let's get started with our first attempt. So as you saw, he basically gets down on the apron coming into turn four, or coming out of turn four, gets loose, spins around, just so happens to come up in front of someone who drills him, gets him airborne, sends him up into the catch fence, and he basically pierces the catch fence and helicopters around over the other car. As you can see, my wheel I'm not using right now. It's temporarily out of order, so I'm using the 360 controller. Alright, so we got a car coming, so I'm going to spin right here. By downshifting, oh, we just got just missed. Oh, we got hit by that guy. Not good enough. So I'm manually shifting. Obviously I'm using the directional pad to shift. I'm not doing sequential, I'm doing direct. So then I can directly downshift to reverse and get a spin like that. Or first, whichever seems better. I think reverse is usually better for trying to get a spin. Kevin Portillo, Adam Samsil, NASCAR Super Flips. Thanks for joining in, guys. I know this one's a little different of a can I recreate video. I was messing around with the DW12 mod earlier. I saw this paint scheme, got reminded of the wreck, and I realized I haven't done a IndyCar can I recreate in a while. Alright, so let's get right down there. Come on. Come on. Oh, close. I actually got hit up into the air when I got T-boned by the one car, just not quite enough to go up into the fence. I mean, not terrible for a second attempt. Disney Pixar Cars Review, Dominic Walker, KDM Games and stuff. Thanks for joining in. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Take another look at that replay. Maybe just do it a hair earlier if that, uh, camera for this replay is in the same spot as the one in uh, real life. I just went down to use the wheel and hit the pedals out of instinct. YouTubers never stop. Typical. Do, 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 do. Thanks for watching guys. How's it going? How's everyone's day going so far? Whoa. That was close. Nope, not quite. 
a very dangerous spot right now. Yeah, because I think that camera is in just about the same spot as it uh is the TV one in real life, so maybe right around there is a good spot to spin. I just need to get a lucky hit. A lucky T-bone to send me up into the catch fence. Ryan Fitzy, how's it going, man? It's always comforting to see the moderators. Trying to stay low on the apron. Come on, come on. Oh, nope, there's no car up in the high lane. Try that again. That one's not even worth a replay. Why is it dark in your setup? I didn't think anyone would notice. I just have my light off. My usual spotlight I have for my video light. I have that turned off. Mainly because I just rolled out of bed after taking a nap and I look like crap. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. I didn't feel like having a bright light. Well, that and then, especially after just waking up, I didn't feel like having a bright light in my face right away. Whoa! We are upside down on the backstretch. Well, not the wreck I was going for, but still kind of cool. So I accidentally got hit by that guy, then I lost control. I was gone by that point. Upside down. Nice blow over in the IndyCar. The crazed stabber gaming. David Hill, Alex Stewart. I apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name. Alright, Tony Kanan, get up in the high lane. Come on, come on. Aw, oh, damn it. I can try again with the same car. Oh, no grip. I think I need to go to the garage and see what setups are available. Or maybe that was the result of damage. Could have been that too. Damn it, that's right. I already hit reverse on that last attempt. Whoops. God, if you already blow out the gear, if you try it again, it's not going to spin you around really quickly like it does the first time. Alright, we got a small group of cars coming up behind me, so maybe a couple of them are side by side. And one, will, one will be in the high lane. Nope. How do I get the cars to run in the high lane? The high line. Whatever you want to call it. Let's go on board for one. Okay. Whoa. Someone hit me. God damn it. Let's try another attempt on board. 
That one wasn't that good. That's right, I don't even think I have realistic weather turned on, which I usually do for IndyCar. Oh, there was no one to T-bone me that time. Too little, too late. Except now there's a giant pile-up. Oh, we got someone flipping. And someone just got T-boned really hard, and now the car that T-boned him is barrel rolling. Can't wait to see this replay. <laughs> Bam. Ram Rahal. Who was that that went barrel rolling? Evelino, that's right. I remember that name. Alright, one more attempt in this view, since we haven't even really gotten a good one yet. They're just gonna pass me right away. Come on, come on. Oh, someone was actually in the high lane that time, but still missed me. And now you guys T-bone me after it's already too late. I see how it is. Lots of trial and error. Probably try changing the settings at some point. Just missed him. Bastard. Try again with the same car, except I'm gonna have to downshift to first instead of reverse this time. Jet Spartan, DS Gaming, thanks for joining in, guys. How's it going? Make sure to hit the like button if you haven't yet. Was that for a save? I'm spinning here, but no one's even behind me to hit me. All right, I'm gonna turn realistic weather on because I think that should make me go faster, depending on what I have the track temperature set to. No, nope, I haven't really tweaked it much yet, so what we are going to do, we're going to exit out of the game quickly, load up the track INI file for this track. Alright, where is Auto Club? Night 2014. Track INI, let's full screen that. Alright, PTA, this is what we want to do. We want to turn this up just a little bit. Because we are going to turn this down. Alright, so let's see what kind of physics we have now. Track temperature is going to be really cold, but it's going to make the Indy cars go faster. More prone to getting airborne. Better acceleration. 
I reset faster. Right, excuse me. Alright, I saved that. Now we're loading the game back up. Viper Ghost. Another mod. How's it going, man? Okay, lotion. Alright, let's see what kind of physics we have with these cars now. Negative 96. I think that'd be like deadly temperatures. So you're gonna notice we're gonna be going way faster, but it's also gonna be way harder to control the cars. Yep. <laughs> Run back to chase. View for this. God damn it, I might have to turn the grip up a little bit more. Yep, I'm definitely going to have to turn the grip up a little bit. Or turn the track timber slightly down. Changed it too much. Right off the bat. <clears throat> Alright. Turn this up just a little bit more and then we'll turn the track timber down just a little bit. Not quite as a drastic difference. Loading the game back up. I mean, lots of trial and error trying to get these settings down. Still waiting for the back end to step out. There it goes. I was actually able to save it. Come on, hit me, hit me. Seems to be a little bit better in terms of the Indy car settings and driving physics. I'm trying to use like iRacing's physics as a reference point. So if you accelerate too hard or turn too hard, the back end will step out. Except I need to go to the garage and change the setup so I can stretch those gears out. Damn it, I haven't really gotten T-boned properly yet, except for that second attempt. Oh. There we go. A little bit of patience getting up to speed. Oh, hey, I actually got T boned. I just needed to get popped up into the air and pierce the catch fence. At least that was a step in the right direction. About the right spot, too. Just need to actually get lucky enough to get hit into the catch fence. Uh, 
Darn it. Whoa. Aerodynamic wheelie there for a second. Oh, come on. Everyone's wrecking now. Jesus. Well, that one was busted from the start. Trying to get up to speed without spinning. Shoot. No one hit me. No one hit me. Why is that guy going so slow? Darn it. Well, at least I got hit again. I just need to get popped up into the air. Damn it. Yeah, I kept it off the wall. This does kind of feel similar to iRacing's IndyCar physics. Decent amount of grip, but will still step out easily if you're too liberal with the throttle. Waiting for Tony Kanan to get into position. Nope. Oh, darn it. I didn't even see that guy. I thought he was going to hit me for a second. Stupid laptop freezing. Stupid car spinning. Someone hit me. Bastard. They were side by side and he still couldn't get high enough to hit me. First I have to get lucky enough to do a right spin in the right spot and then I need to have someone be up in the high lane in the correct spot to be able to hit me. Takuma Sato. Maybe he'll be the guy. No, it looks like he's too close. Maybe JR Hildebrand will be close enough. Darn it. I saw him riding the highway and I thought he was going to hit me. Keep getting my hopes up. <clears throat> None of these, obviously, yet have been replay worthy. favorite things to do. The frontwards blow over. Oh, almost. Hey, look at that, I got T-bone. <laughs> Alright, enough messing around. Back to serious crashing. Ooh, that was close. So why haven't I went to my garage yet? I picked out a setup. Oh.
Whoa. Saw someone go flipping from that. Still flipping. James Hinchcliffe. I know this is really my imagination wandering here, but right here, if after I clipped uh, Takuma Sato, if I would have gone down and been able to hit the inside wall down here, that would have reminded me of that 2013 NASCAR finish between Hamlin and Logano. Now let's see. There we go. That's what I was trying to find. Hinchcliffe. Alright, next. Trying to be steady with this throttle. I don't think I've gotten into the catch fence yet. This entire video, almost 30 minutes in, not once. I just need to make sure I do I'm going slow enough to be able to stay in this low line before I spin. Oh, you bastard. Crap. Ouch. And by the way, I do need to eventually try to recreate Ryan Briscoe's flip he had here a year later, except I can't find his paint scheme for the DW12 mod. If anyone can find that, the proper Ryan Briscoe paint scheme from when he flipped at Auto Club, I would love to try that one too, but I haven't been able to find it yet. No, damn it, I saw that coming. Guess my car still works. Damn it, I keep forgetting to go to my garage. I need to do something with my grip, too. It's waiting to get T bone right there. All right, garage. Let's see if there's any setups, which I don't see. Right, let's see what my top speed is now. These zero parts about turning the track temperature down. Just getting up to speed super slow. Let's 
Still nothing. Oh. That's no good. Ow! You bastard. Someone, for the love of God, hit me! Ow. That was a hard hit. Oh. Nope. You know, just for the hell of it, I just want to do a backwards crash once. And we'll get back to the attempts. I'm just gonna take a quick crash break for more crashing. this video Escalated quickly. Wait for it. Oh, damn it. Cut away at just the bad time. <laughs> Is that Ryan Hunter Ray in that yellow car, I think? Next, actually back to serious. The traveling toy guy, gamer boy, eight fifteen, Alden, Lockridge. Thanks for joining in, guys. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet. I know I haven't gotten any good attempts yet, unfortunately. This one's turning out to be a little more tricky than I initially intended. Oh shoot! Yeah, I forgot we're just doing these attempts in practice mode. Stupid track temperature. <sighs> Again. Jeez. Power. Is that willpower? No, Helio. Let's see if I can actually get onto the back stretch this time. There we go. 
I can actually go over 200 after I change the gear ratio. How's that for a save? So we got a little bit more realistic speeds to what IndyCar usually has, but hasn't helped me at the crash yet. God damn it, I spun prematurely. hit there just didn't get t-bone in the right way I'm having trouble with, I think I need to turn down the AI difficulty so I can just afford to go a little slower because with how fast I'm going I'm having trouble staying in that lower line which if I'm in the low line to begin with that'll probably help when I spin kind of draw some cars up to the high line to try to avoid me and hopefully hit me. I was able to hug the bottom line easier going a little bit slower while not having to worry about keeping up with the way faster AI cars damn it yeah sadly that second attempt I think I had was probably the closest so far whoops I did not do that on purpose. I got loose. Jeez. Speaking of Ryan Briscoe flipping at Auto Club, that's exactly what just happened. Just a different paint scheme. seconds back. Come on. One of these times I have to get lucky. Nope, oh, and no one in the high lane, of course. Ouch. Jeez. Oh yeah, so now I get T-boned. And almost into the catch fence. See that from Carpenter's on board. Bam. <laughs> Next. Dude. 
do Dick Brooks Crash. I know exactly which one you're talking about, and unfortunately I can't yet because there is a small gap in the NASCAR era for NR2003 around the mid-70s. We leave like 72 to 78. Whoops. There's like no car sets for, or mod really. Not yet, at least. I wanted to try this all stream, just a frontwards blowover. Oops. Kind of like what happened to Dario Franchitti. Come on. Come on. Oh, darn it. Sadly, that was probably one of the closest attempts I've had. And yes, I know that wasn't that close at all. Oh, look at that. Listen to that transmission on the replay. Nice wheelie there first. Oh, darn it. If I got like a few more feet into the air, that might have been decent. Even with the wheelie beforehand. close to damn it ouch now that was a hard accidental wreck I did not mean to crash there at all. I got a little loose. Then that AI car hit me and then sent me back up into the outside wall. Next. That was real life at the very least that probably would have been some some shattered ankles for me even with the safety of the new cars whoa bye bye tire hope that didn't land on anyone now yeah, watch the tire right here Go flying up and over the fence and into orbit.
There's no one even behind me, so I'll wait till the next lap. Nope. I can't. I didn't even mean to spin that time, but now I got a broken car. Kind of. Frontwards blow over time. Nope. Almost. Enough screwing around. I have 15 minutes to try to get this perfect. T-bone me. Chris Boyd, thanks for joining in, Mad. Uh, man, glad you enjoy the videos. I was gonna say man, but then I had glad in my head already. That's why I said mad at first. Real Junior Fan 88, Jakey Bacons, that's an interesting name. Thanks for joining in, guys. Shed, shed one tear for every failed attempt. No! Stupid track temperature. The fact that I don't have a wheel anymore, at least temporarily, doesn't help my driving at all. Oh, bye bye, third gear. since I have no one behind me to be able to hit me at this attempt. Now I'll try to do my frontwards blow over I've been trying to do. Still nothing yet. Still not able to get all the way up and over. Oh, damn it. That one was actually decently close. Two decently close attempts, if I could have just gotten a little higher, wouldn't have been bad. But ironically, both of the decent attempts have been after I <laughs> tried a failed frontwards blowover and did a wheelie. Damn it. That one was close.
Nope. <sighs> How many? I've been going through these attempts pretty damn quickly. So I'm not really watching a replay unless one gets like decently close. And even with these speed attempts, I still haven't been able to get that lucky. I've gotten two fluke, somewhat close attempts, but I came up a few feet too short and wasn't able to actually get into the catch fence. Nope. I didn't even mean to spin out that time. I just did. Damn it. See what happens when you overcorrect. Hear that, Danica? Maybe take that advice next time you're trying to wreck Landon Castle. Just waiting for these guys behind me to get a little bit closer. That's why I'm going a little slow on purpose. Sitting a dog right now and he keeps whining. <sighs> mm. So like I said, I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna see a grown man cry if I can't get this correctly soon. Nope. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Nope. Oh, actually, all avoided me. Big pack of cars right there. That one was close ish. Stop whining. Stop whining. Kindergarten cop, anyone? This movie probably came out before anyone watching the stream was born. Including myself, I think. I think that was 1990. Oh, that was close. Alright, since we are approaching the top of the hour, I got time for about three more attempts. Now I'll do a little bit of backwards crashing, then I gotta get going. Damn it. Damn, flipping over. Oh my gosh, someone flipped. Another hard crash with Takuma Sato. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, damn. And he is hit hard by Ryan Hunter Ray. I'm gonna watch this. I feel more people are gonna compile in. Yep. Jeez. Alright, 
That one was a busted attempt. All right, two more to go. Two more attempts. Two more chances. Two more opportunities for greatness. <laughs> I don't even know what I say sometimes. running the high line purposefully hit me. Jennifer, thanks for joining in. Trying to see if there's anyone that I haven't given a shout out to yet that I haven't already. said hi yet. Thanks for joining in. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you haven't yet. I really appreciate it. Damn it. Jeez. Just getting hit over and over again. I want to see how hard of an impact that person took that I just barely clipped. Oh, well, looks like I'm going to have to do a part two right there. Oh, Kurt Busch. Damn. Up on his side. All right, just going to do one or two backwards crashes, and then I got to get going. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate the support. All right, so I'm going to do one attempt, getting them as they're coming down on the back stretch, and then the... Second one I'll do, I'll do on the front stretch as they're coming out of turn four with me coming flying down pit road the wrong way. Stop whining. Sadly, no editable attempts. Not to be confused with editable editable as in you can eat the attempt but editable as in you can edit the attempt <laughs> do one forward crash all right why not i'll do that after this one so i'll do three crashes total backwards forwards backwards stupid steering assistance barely being on it messes up your steering when you're going backwards Well, that kind of sucked. We'll have to see the replay of what that turned into, but I accidentally spun from that steering assistance screwing me up. Holy shit. Still saw a hard crash come out of that. Ed Carpenter takes a big hit. Damn, he gets stuck in the catch fence. It's a little bit more than a big hit. Alright, I'll do one forwards crash now. What is tomorrow's stream? I haven't decided yet. I'll have to figure that out between now and tomorrow morning. So I'll get in the front and try to cause one big wreck coming out of turn two.
We are three wide going into the first turn. And I don't think that's going to end well. Especially since I can't turn, apparently. There. That started kind of weak. It ended a little strong with those cars at the end. attempt going the wrong way on the front stretch do Austin Dillon's crash <laughs> Jesus for like the eighth time attempting it and yeah I have to eventually it's still one of the most sought after reenactments that people are still requesting to this day. I just haven't gotten a good attempt. That one is so difficult. You passed the pace car. My spotter is going to yell at me and say that. <laughs> Hello, pace car. Just need to time this right. That was a doozy. Gonna have to take a look at that replay. Ryan Hunter Ray looks like got the worst of it, possibly, except for me. See that one's from Sage Pagano following him. Jeez. Rest in peace, Andretti. Was that the Snapple car that I like landed on the cockpit of? Oh, yeah. Watch a slow mo from Andretti. Wait for it. Bam. Alright, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Check out my uh, social media links down in the description. I also have all the links for those mods and tracks and stuff I used during this uh, video. As always, let me know for the uh, Jesus Cody talk. As always, let me know your suggestions down in the comments for future videos you'd like to see me do. Uh, if you are interested in helping support this channel, please go check out my my Patreon account. Thanks to Ryan Fitzy for your support on there. I really appreciate it, man. And that is about it. Thanks again, guys. Hope to catch you next time. Until then, hope you all have a good rest of your day. Peace.